Like millions of young car enthusiasts, as a child, my bedroom walls were plastered with supercar posters. And one of my favorites was an iconic Lamborghini, a late 90s Diablo SE30 in stunning sun yellow. I loved its awesome proportions, ridiculous scissor doors, and monstrous V12 engine that sat just behind the driver, the epitome of style and performance put before just about everything else. So imagine how excited I was when Lamborghini offered a drive in their newest model. And it was yellow. What, that? That's, was two things right about it, the badge and the color. It's not a Lamborghini though. It's got back seats, where's the engine? What, a V8, under, so it's the wrong place, the wrong number of cylinders, and it's got a turbo, two turbos. It's not a Lamborghini, what's all this? What's all this space underneath? Not a Lamborghini. What's this? Practical features, a cup holder, glove box, door pockets, more store, oh, wireless charging. I don't need all that in a Lamborghini. Indicator switch clearly from an Audi, and another switch down here, most likely Volkswagen. This is not a Lamborghini. It's quite nice in here though. Ooh. Maybe I should go for a drive. no secret that to make the Urus possible, Lamborghini's parents, Volkswagen, had to donate one or two components. But if you're going to pinch parts, then make sure you steal them from the best in the business. Audi and Volkswagen are renowned for their excellent interiors, and I'm very happy to say the Lamborghini Urus is no exception. But does it feel different and special enough? That's the question. This car is nearly $400,000, and it needs to feel every cent of that. Certainly, there's enough of Lamborghini's trademark hexagon design hints everywhere. There's excellent quality materials. I particularly like these wonderful touch screens with haptic feedback. It's a really clean, very restrained interior. There's no doubt that this is easily the most practical Lamborghini I've ever driven. There's tons of space. When was the last time you saw a Lamborghini that could have five people on board? But perhaps the world has changed. People don't buy cars anymore, so why are they going to aspire to supercars? What Lamborghini has realized is people buy SUVs, so maybe what the new generation of petrol heads want is a super SUV. To find out, we took the Lamborghini Urus to one of the highest concentrations of high-end SUVs in Australia, Sorento. What would the locals of this multi-million dollar, ultra-exclusive weekend escape property haven think of a high-riding, raging bull? If you're trying to stand out in a sea of premium SUVs, Lamborghini's foray, it seems, is hard to beat. Lambo, baby. But looking like a Lambo is only half the battle. If the Urus can't deliver a driving experience to match its design, it's a very expensive exercise in style over substance. Cruising in the Urus, I could be in any of the other large SUVs from the Volkswagen Group family. It's quiet, it's comfortable, civilized, too civilized. But what those other large SUVs don't have is this rather ostentatious lever down here with anima written on it. And when I pull that, the Urus turns into quite a different beast. cylinders, or even 10. But what the Urus does with eight cylinders is frankly remarkable. So this 
this Lamborghini, it's got definitely enough performance to wear the Raging Bull badge. Its handling is really surprising. Tons of grip. It makes the right sound. And it's got those amazing looks as well. But it's really good on dodgy roads. Perhaps what we're looking at here is Australia's Lamborghini. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe a Lamborghini SUV is exactly what the car world wants. Maybe a high-riding all-wheel drive monster can honor the Raging Bull. Maybe this is the first SUV I would have pinned on my wall as a boy. Well, 